All right, all right. It is Tuesday. Show me the Money Club live Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. You can also catch us on uh, not only the video platforms, but also on all major pod podcasting platforms. Just search Show Me the Money Club and our little faces will pop up on and uh, you can listen as well, too. So if you're at the gym, if you're driving, whatever, and you don't want to use the video bit rate, you can always use the audio bit rate, which is a lot lower. Um, with that being said, I don't know about you, Sergio, but uh, the Super Bowl is set. So February 11th, we have the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. I think a failure of a Super Bowl, in my opinion, uh, because I think the only people that wanted uh, that was uh, the was Kansas City Chiefs uh, fans as well as the 49er fans. And if you like either team, I'm happy for you. Uh, congrats. But uh, I would have loved to see the Bills take on the Lions. And, you know, what's funny is so many people I've seen uh, all over different different medias have said the same thing. But, uh, uh, you know, they, they definitely failed because it should have been the Lions and Kansas City because then you could have had the face-off between Eminem and Taylor Swift. That would have been the, the fourth quarter overtime. Um, but uh, uh -huh. Eminem would have probably wiped the floor with her um so it would have been fun to see nice. but uh either way i like it. my uh, daughter loves Ann taylor swift so anyway. look i got no problems with her i i really don't i just i if i'm watching football i don't need to see her hey man i'd rather see britney mahomes and i really don't want to see her either but I with that being either, said but, uh, <laughs> you know but you know how that goes but anyway so yeah it should be a good super bowl though uh frisco's three point favorite or one of them is three point favorite i don't know um yeah so how's everybody? Uh, thank you for joining us. Sorry about my uh, rough look today. I'm not growing a beard because I'm already white. Um, we had plumbing problems in the house, so no shave, no shower today. Dude, I've we've been it. we've been running left and right. It's amazing we actually were able to sit down for this. I make sure we could. Yeah. <laughs> so, and uh, uh, yeah. a lot of crazy. Well, welcome stuff. everybody. We'll have a good show. Um, yep. So we're giving some money away today, so you guys know. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Sergio's money is being spent. Um, yeah, because you but, took those 20 um, rides. <laughs> you uh, couldn't, bro, you couldn't buy the pack you. of gums, so now you got to... <laughs> well, I spent all my away. money buying that pack of gum. Did you guys watch that hilarious <laughs> video? Um, yeah. I couldn't buy a pack of gum after doing a minimum fair trade. <laughs> Some yeah, people don't right. have sense of humor, bro. I was like, I was trying to be like, it was like a parody, you know? People go, oh, yeah, oh. I, I, angry constant <laughs> anger i go like bro it's so funny <laughs> jesus chill out <laughs> i know La laugh a little it's a little fun exactly. i mean that's why, that's, have that's why we humor. opened up with the, that's why we opened up with the football references because no, it's, it's fun and lighthearted, and a, you know we got um, a lot of shit that we got to get to on on uber and lyft yeah, and all the crap yeah, there uh, so let's um, let's make it a little laughter um exactly. this is but, the place uh, you guys come to get informed educated but also entertained right so, you know, we have we all look, man. We're all suffering. We're all having tough years, tough weeks with the haircuts and bullshit. But once in a while, you gotta let go. You cannot think twenty four seven about what's happening. And negativity, yelling and screaming is not gonna get anyone anywhere. And you know, oh, to connect that, Chris, let me let me do my own plug first. Um, okay. Um, we okay. I'm gonna put. The, okay, I don't want anybody to click on the link now or leave. I'm gonna put a link on the chat copy it and watch it so this has been about a year in the coming and um now it's an amazing documentary and it's very relevant to what's happening today with the department of labor ruling misclassification independent contractor or not tim hedberg who was the director of this uh thank you tim i'm pretty sure you're watching um much appreciated it came out amazing and i'm in it and it was done by the federalist society um they're a think tank a little conservative libertarian kind of a think tank but don't be afraid it wasn't that you know super right-wing bs it was very balanced all stakeholders opinions were in there and i was the gig advocate as i am and i thought it was amazing so please copy and Paste the link on your uh, somewhere. Don't watch it later. It's about 18 minutes long, and you guys will be proud. So, uh, yeah, that's it. That's my plug. Yep. 
I'll have to watch it over. I got late lined up on the uh, computer next. So uh, after this, I'll have to watch that real quick and see what it's all about. But uh, I remember you talking about that and saying, oh, yeah, they come over to my house and they're, they're you know, get me driving and doing all this stuff. And, you know, it's really good to see it come to uh, fruition. It took them two days. I'm in it seven minutes out of the 19th. <laughs> Now I know why movies lose money. <laughs> the whole professional crew and cameras and shit in my car, out of the car, and I'm like, this was like that. Now I know why, you know, imagine the Spielberg movies and shit. That's why they lose money. It takes them, like, they do 50 hours oh, of recording for, like, two minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, they do all the different sides, the angles, the takes, uh, you know, yeah. and then they got to edit it all together, so it's a multi-sequence, and there's a lot to it. Um, and then, you know, you got to make sure the audio is correct. Otherwise you've got to dub in the audio, which you might have to go to a sound stage and dub it in. Um, or, you know, if they're picking it up different. So that's why, like, if you're looking at the, over the, the, the back of the shoulder, um, view and it doesn't match up with what they're saying, that's, that's the reasons why. Um, so yeah, it's, it's Wait, somebody, quite said, somebody said the same thing to you, by the way. Oh, Jeff, Jeff said, Chris, your lips are not matching your audio. So I don't know. That's okay. Saying. <laughs> well, <laughs> Nothing is good I'm not that. really worried about the audio drift on on right now. Um, so good. don't worry about it. Um, All right. Yeah, it's it's the it's the 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 mic differential between the video. So don't worry about it. But uh, with that being said, we do have quite a bit to talk with today. So let's get through what we're going to be talking about. Um, first, we're going to be talking about Uber tokens. So. The new game that Uber is playing. Is anybody going to play? Uh, I don't know. That casino might not see too many drivers, but we're going to be talking about what Uber, our yeah. Uber tokens. Uh, then we're also going to be talking about Lyft upfront fares model needs a major overhaul. Uh, we're going to be talking about also the Colorado proposed legislation on transparency and deactivations. Uh, we're also going to be talking about will Lyft fix problems of unjust deactivations due to fraudulent passenger claims. We're also going to be asking the question, is it time to pivot from driver education to rider education? Also, we're going to be talking about how risky is rideshare and food delivery, as well as Uber is beginning lobbying efforts in California, probably mm. likely elsewhere. Mm. So we're going to be talking about that. We're going to end with some funnies and we're going to bring some people on. So if you guys want to come on, uh, you're more than welcome. We will post a link around then and uh, get that all going. Uh, so if you want to come on, share a couple of minutes worth of whatever, whether it's questions, whether it's, um, you know, your thoughts on a particular topic that we've talked about, whatever it might be, um, bring it on and uh, we will let you guys have the floor then. Um, but before we want to get to a couple of announcements and Sergio, I know you want to talk about this newsletter. Yeah, um, I say it in every one of my videos now, um, which I'm doing called Sergio's Diaries on the weekend. Thank you for watching. Those are doing really well. They're organic. They're my experiences driving in LA, which absolutely sucks these days. I mean, no surge, gray clouds, whatever you work, midnight, no surge. Morning, no surge. I waited literally 45 minutes for a ping the other day. I'm like, what's going on? But let's forget that. Um, okay, we have a wonderful newsletter. Um, I can't speak highly of it, really. I mean, it's so good. And all you guys have to do, it's free. F R E E free. All you have to Thanks, do is go to www. Thank you, Steve. www.therideshareguy.com. You guys will see it. All you have to do is put your email in there. And as soon as my article comes out, in depth article about different topics, Jay's article, Tyler's article, you will get a ping. Read seriously. I know you guys like watching more than reading these days, but it's really, really good. Like last. Last month, I did two articles about my driving and deliveries, some tips and tricks. I mean, it's really, really good info. You newbie, veteran, whatever you are, you know, um, again, free. So don't. And the link like, to oh, that. Uh, there's nothing, no attachment. Just go sign up. That's it. The link to that is also in the description. So if you want to just click okay. that instead of having to go to the rideshareguy.com, you just click and sign up there. Yep. That you can do, and uh, thank you for the support. Um, those weekend, those weekend videos, bro, they're doing well. Mm -hmm. They're like, you know, people are like really liking those. Uh, tonight, actually, at six thirty, is it six? Yeah, six thirty Pacific. One is coming out. 
because we're going to talk about that, you know, when we get to the Uber lobbying part, but we have our own lobby force. It's called the driver. Okay. We need to look for a pivot pretty soon because this, this, you know, as big as we are, we can't reach more than 1% of the driver base. And by the time we reach them, they quit. So we need to start educating the passenger. And that's an exactly, that's exactly what I did with one of my trips. And I literally just screen recorded it, the conversation, amazing passenger. And, you know, we need to start converting passengers to our cause because that's the golden boost that lays the golden egg. And when we start, you know, when we start hurting their pockets that way, not, not the passengers, but Ubers and Lyfts, they're going to have to listen to the drivers because otherwise, you know, apps off, do this, do that. Those things don't work. But what works is educate the passenger. And all of you, I'm sure most of you are full timers. You get 20, 25 passengers in the car. Read the room according to the room. Start educating your passenger. Be nice to them. Talk to them. Talk about your problems. Ask them what you're paying, what you're receiving. They have a heart. Trust me. And because, you know, passengers are also getting sick of it, Chris. Car quality mm -hmm. has gone down. Driver quality has gone down. And the fares have gone up 50% on, on the riders. So they go like, yeah. what the F? I'm paying 50% more than like three years ago. I just got a car that's just falling apart and then driver that doesn't speak English and can't read GPS. They're going to revolt. They're going to go, I'm not paying for the service. The service quality is shit. I'm like, yeah, that's what we're going to start working on. And that's what we all have to do individually. Okay. So. Yep. Agreed. But let's talk about, uh, you know, you know, actually, uh, what I, what I'm curious about, we're going to be talking about Uber tokens. I don't know, mm -hmm. Sergio, how many Uber tokens do you have? Oh, not yet. It just started in my app. I anyway, I got it in my but app. Uh, you know what uh, I'm waiting for? The ultimate game of the Uber token. And what that is, is going to be it. a little thing that pops up on, on, on your screen that oh, says, you, you, know like you, play, you know, when you play, you know, when you play like a, a daily game, like you, yeah. you might have a daily game that you play like Candy Crush or, has that. you know, yeah. whatever it might be. At, you get that little mini game where it's got the little circle and then it'll spin around and yeah. then it'll stop on one yeah. of the, the sections. I'm I'm going to say I wouldn't be surprised if Uber does something that says like get double tokens or for like the hour or you know <laughs> no bonus for you or plus five tokens or something just to, just to fill in the wheel. So when the when you click it when you open up the app and you click it and it goes around and around and around and then it just stops there. You're like, "Oh, I got some tokens." I could get a free uh, free cookie at uh, 7-Eleven with the purchase of uh, <laughs> with something. <laughs> Trust no, but, me, nothing's you know, free <laughs> except know, for the I, newsletter. I, I, buy, I buy shit online from Timu now, right? Or Timu, Tamu, whatever the heck it is. Uh -huh. The Chinese uh, fucking Amazon. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, they have that same thing. They have the wheel. Like, like yep. you stop it and then, oh, you got a 20% discount. I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> so this yeah. I got in my app. How many of you have this in your app, people? This is the ultimate casino, Uber casino now I call it, introducing Uber Pro tokens. So, you know, for each trip you do, you're gonna get awarded tokens. Earn tokens, you'll, uh, you, you'll earn one Uber Pro token for every trip you take. Earn more tokens per trip by driving during the extra point hours. Basically what this is, Chris. It's called this points. Is, uh, points equal this tokens. Is <laughs> entice people who are blue like me, who cherry pick, they don't care about any platinum, gold, any of that stuff, right? So they're trying to entice us to take more trips so that we can... Re this is like a Kmart layaway plan on the <laughs> Uber, Uber Platinum. <laughs> so, yeah, we know you're not going to get 1,700 points or whatever it takes to be platinum, but if we may convince you to collect maybe 300 points, and then... No tokens. Like a, you know how credit card companies do that? You collect points and then you go buy some garbage with it? <laughs> yep. This is exactly that. But this is for the part-timers, right? Because part-timers are never going to get the platinum because they don't drive long enough and do enough trips. So this, is this I feel like, actually is a slap on the face of all the platinum drivers, right? Yep. Who do all these thousands of trips, hundreds a week, and collect the platinum points. And then now they're going to get all diluted by me because I may be interested in one of those rewards or awards and i definitely will get like three four hundred points and i can go cash in and get a get a perk you know what i mean and so this is what with it the is. purchase of a slice of pizza at 7-eleven 
<laughs> well, no, no, I, no, no, no. Okay, so so the perks are coming up. So so you collect the tokens and then you choose the rewards. This is like just like American Express points. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and here are the, right. here are my rewards. I don't know what it is in your app. Did you, if you guys have this, this is what it is. So the first reward or or perk is free Uber One membership for 90 days. 300 Uber Pro tokens I need for that. Okay, I already have Uber One, so I don't want that one. Now, this I may be interested in, okay? Area preference for a week. It used to be free, Chris. Then mm -hmm. they made it a perk. Uber, really. Hmm. Learn from Lyft, Uber. Ah, ah, okay. And now it's back on. I'm pretty sure I'll get 280 points at minimum. I mean, so I go like, okay, I'll take that for a week. Or door number three. Door number three is say 40%. On a single Uber X ride. No, I have Uber One, so I'm not interested in that. Um, oh, there you go. Next perk, 420 points, Chris. Shorter wait times for airport pickups. So all the promise you guys did to the Platinum guys to get the rematch and go to the front of the queue, they're all going to get deluded. I, I swear to God, if I was like Platinum, I'd be like, what the F, bro? I work my ass right. off and you're giving it to some schmuck now <laughs> for 420 points? Anyway. And then the last, my last perk is save forty percent when you spend twenty dollars on Uber Eats order. No thanks. Uh, I'd rather go get my own food. Oh God! Do you know how many times I get that email from Uber? Oh, you could save forty percent. And then here's the best part: I actually will plug in my order to like Wendy's or you know something um, that I'm maybe getting at that time, and it's usually more, even with that coupon applied, by having it delivered. Because then you got to add tip, you got to do all that. It's usually more than if I would have just just gone and picked it up, even at forty percent off. Come on, yeah. And then uh, how to earn tokens? I put some of the frequently asked questions in there. Um, now there is a, a, <laughs> obviously this is Uber. We know that, right? Okay, these are not like you could be you could be super cherry picker, except one out of ten collect the points and do it. <laughs> there is always a catch in Uberland. Oh, of, co of course. Of course it is. And on the fourth question, oh, how often is my token balance updated? It's updated once a day, but not after a trip. So you guys got to kind of keep an eye on it because, you know, Uber is not strong in math. <laughs> mm -hmm. or, or at least easy adding, you know, sometimes things slip through. <laughs> so you better go check it. And then uh, are are there driving criteria required to redeem my tokens? See? Yes. <laughs> so there goes my <laughs> tokens, buddy. Uh, yes. Uh, and they're the same as Uber Pro. To redeem tokens, you need a cancellation rate of 4%. I got that in the bag because I, honestly, my cancellation rate is like 1%, if that. Because if I accept it, I'm doing it, period. Yep. And mm -hmm. with the no more accidental discharge, I'm just good. Right, I just I don't misfire anymore. Now here's the problem: um, uh, cancellation rate four percent and start rating of at least four eighty five. That's not my problem either. I'm at four ninety six after ten thousand trips. So when do the Uber Pro tokens expire? I that's missing there, but they don't expire. Well, they expire um, just they like Uber it. Pro. Uh, what is it? Regular Uber Pro every quarter. Right here. It says this is okay. a limited trial promotion. Any tokens that have not been redeemed during the trial period expire on June yeah. 22nd, 24. Well, oh. well, yeah, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to continue this. Okay, so this is pretty attractive, at least on me, people. Don't be jealous. I have no acceptance rate restriction on this. Some of you do, I know, for Uber Pro. Some cities do. I don't. So 4% cancellation, in the bag. 80, 485, in the bag. I'm at 496, so... I'm going to get at least six, 700 points. <laughs> so I'm just looking at my shopping list. I think I'm going to go for area preference for sure, probably twice or three times because the rest I'm not interested. <laughs> but <laughs> I like the area preference, although I well, love Uber's area filter. Uber, you're listening. They're doing it the right way. The little tree is beating you on that one for sure. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. You guys so, have this? <laughs> no, I don't have this, but. Honestly, all of that stuff I wouldn't care about. I don't care about Uber One. I don't care about Airy Preference because they don't have an Airy Preference in this market. Uh, they don't have, I like, I don't really take UberX when I'm driving here because I have my car, so I don't need it. 
Um, shorter wait times. I don't go to the airport unless, like I, I was telling you, it's like a Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday night, and it's later. So they're pulling drivers from around the area. So there's no wait, and there's usually surge. That's the only time I do p airport pickups. And after that, it's it's. I don't even have to go to the lot to wait. It's you're right there. And then um, I don't do Uber Eats either. Like I don't see the see the the cost to benefit ratio uh, there. So. Yeah. Honestly, again, Uber Pro okay. and Uber tokens, I could give a shit less on. So okay, no, I, I give a me. shit on this one. I think I get it. So <laughs> Mike Smith, uh, I absolutely cancel and see my tailpipes, underage minor, too many for X. You know, they show up like with five people. You know, all that stuff. Nope, nope. You can't. You you can't even get the free cookie. Anymore. No, no. This is, not, this, nothing. Is, no this is good this shit. Is, this is just like, Uber. This get... is just Uber stuff. Yeah, this is Uber stuff. Yeah, no, you no, know what I want to see? Good. All right, Uber, I know you're watching. Here's the thing. You know what, what I want to see? One of those things, instead of free Uber One membership, we're drivers, Hot dog. okay? Hot dog. What I, no, no, no. What I want to see is, I want to see add 5% pay huh? to rides for the day. That may be coming. <laughs> Something well, like that. Okay. Like, instead of okay. me getting, <laughs> instead of me getting base rate, add 5%. For the yeah, day, I, I don't, or, or the week, area Excellent. preference for a week. We got that. Let's do 5%. Excellent. And you know what? Let's, let's even do, <laughs> do a 10% increase in earnings on a, uh, uh, for, yeah, for yeah. a couple of days or a comment. week or something. Look at that. I what kind of community member better. are you? I know. I agree with you, buddy. But I think, okay, this weekend I did my experiment. I did a minimum fair trip, videos on the channel, tried to go a pack of gum. I couldn't buy a pack of gum. Okay. It was 315 after taxes and shit. I couldn't. So I made a video about that. So now with the tokens, maybe, how about this? How about, you know, rideshare driver's diet, hot dog at 7-Eleven, a Slurpee, and a Kit Kat. Huh? We're all out of shape because we drive. So that's it. <laughs> no. That should, be, that should be my reward. How about, how about, how about Drill Sergeant Chris is going to get on your ass and make you lose weight? <laughs> yeah, thank God you're in fucking Buffalo, bro. Otherwise, you would have been <laughs> on my ass already. <laughs> oh, you, man. You know, fucking guy is melting over there, bro. And look at me, ah. I'm like slob with. This. Oh, uh, you'd be surprised. I had a, I had a nice pizza, and um, we have a thing called cinnamon sticks, which is like basically a medium <laughs> pizza. And I ate most of the whole thing, so my kid had uh, uh, like <laughs> two cinnamon sticks, and I had the rest. And uh, I added two pounds uh -huh. from my way in the day before to the next day, and I'm like, oh, whoops. <laughs> Oops, yeah, there's none left for you, son. But let me um, yeah, tell you, it was well um, worth it. <laughs> yeah, of course. Once in a while, you got to splurge. Um, general question. I love Uber Connect. You really do Uber Connect? Come on, bro. That's a long question. Hold on a second. Deliveries were repaired over XLI. Okay, I drive. I'm getting rides only, though. Isn't that supposed to do? Okay. Well, if there is, yeah, they do. But they do give uh, preference to rides. When you have, I have deliveries, Connect. And uh, Uber X shared X and Connect on a comfort on. Sorry. Um, yeah, they when you have all those on, the priority is always on right here because it involves the human it, that they have to get picked up as fast as possible, faster than lift. So that's why they will ping you um, with the right chair trips when you have all of them on. So there you go. Um, what else? Yeah. So there you go. That's the Uber tokens. Welcome to the Uber Vegas Uber Casino. Um, yeah, I, I'm telling you, tokens. wait until it will. It wait until they get that circle that that pops up, and you could qualify for it after 20 trips. Once you get your 20th trip, the wheel starts, and then you can click it, and then it's like. I like that. And that's where you can get double points or triple points. Yes. And you know, like you select, let's say you select one of these things, right? And then they give you the wheel. Like one, two, three, four, five, maybe. And then you get on five, you get area preference for five weeks instead of one week. How about that? You know or I mean? or what they're going to do is earn double points. And if you cancel or don't okay. accept a ride for the next five, you lose all that then. You, lo you lose you know, the ability you, you, to get double points bro, on it. Bro, they can't even <laughs> I'm play, put the I'm playing the Uber game. game. <laughs> I'm playing the Uber game. They're, they're, look. They can't, they can't even straighten the fucking put a upfront offer properly. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I think, they're, they're I think it's ridiculous. Are you crazy? No, you know, to, I don't you know. I, I think this is, I think it's ridiculous. I, I don't, I, I again, there's no oh, perk there that's a perk Nelly, for me. Bro. 
Um, it's, it's dude, it's not negative, Nelly. It's nothing I would appreciate as a driver. Not like you. I said, if you, if you put something on there that said five percent pay increase, ten percent pay increase for the day, or whatever it is, something like that, that would get me going. That would that would make me a little bit happier because instead of taking you know ten dollars, now I'm making eleven dollars. Not like it's much, but it's something more. Um, you know, something you like that, Jeff or, or you know, he, here's here's boat. another one. I, actually, here's another one. Um, double your fare mm -hmm. for three rides. So whatever you make on the fare would just double. If it's a five dollar ride, it becomes ten. If it's a twenty dollar ride, it becomes forty for three rides in a row. That's something oh. I would appreciate. Uber, let let's start let's start thinking about that. Oh, and you know what? Yeah. You're, gonna you're, uh, I'm going to charge you. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to start charging oh, you for God, these. You, John, thank you. Appreciate that. Five pack Here's, uh, I, couldn't five buy five packs. I couldn't even buy one pack of 10, bro. I couldn't buy it. And I hope your Prop 22 shit is fixed. I'm sure you'll email me if it wasn't. So thank you, Sean. Um, Sean's an LA driver. Um, but yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, let's move on. Uh, let's move on. To All right. The, yeah. Let's talk about, uh, let's talk about this lift, uh, lift problem. And uh, okay, how okay. Ferris well, needs a major overhaul. This one. Okay, this one I'm deadly serious about. If I cannot fix anything this year, anything, which I know I will, definitely we'll do some good this year. Uh, what, did, what did Sean say? Not fixed, but still waiting. Okay, send me an email. Um, please. <coughs> if I cannot fix anything this year, Chris, I'm going to make sure that drivers do not drive for free, even a minute, Okay. So mm -hmm. this upfront thing will stay. I'm pretty sure they're not going to go to 75, 25 or whatever the heck it was, the split and shit like that. And I'm pretty sure they're not going to go to rate cards. I know that. But this lift, and we know who we all are now, <laughs> this must be fixed. This has to be fixed. So next week, I'm going to announce. And in fact, I'm going to start creating my own and put it up here. And I want everybody who is literally able to work on a Google um, spreadsheet or Excel to do one of those with their own Lyft and Uber chips. It's a little, going to be it's a little tricky on Uber because you have to take a screenshot. But on Lyft, see, uh, there is like a split screen when you finish your trip, right? It says estimated 26 minutes and 22.6 miles. This poor driver, 42 minutes, bro. Okay. Mm -hmm. 15 or 14 more minutes he drove and literally about the same mileage maybe mile and a half less right so here's the story on this this is from my buddy kyle we zoom uh i don't know if he's here or not so here's the deal i do not want any driver to drive more than a tenth of a mile or 100 yards or one minute for free on the house because under rate cards we didn't we are losing time. Time is something we cannot get back. And these algos, the upfront algos, Chris, are not considering time whatsoever. Absolutely not. So nope. for 14 minutes, how much more did this guy get paid? Zero. Look at the upfront fare, 22.17 and 22.17. They got stuck there. Okay, of course, what does Kyle do? He goes into the deep black hole that's lift support. And that's you, buddy. You do the voices or do whatever you want to do. Because <laughs> he was pissed. He was like, search and and FYI. This was not a regular trip, Chris. This was a scheduled trip. He accepted it because it was 28 minutes and 22 bucks. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, I give Lyft, okay, a little bit of benefit of the doubt. Because the scheduled trips are put on the schedule the day before. So Lyft has no way of knowing that the next day on that trip is going to be a delay, maybe traffic or whatever, right? So the guy does the trip and he goes longer because what is he going to do? Kick the passenger out of the car on the 28th minute? No. <laughs> he does the trip. Can you imagine that shit? They're going, no, you that would be hilarious. Clock. Get out of my car. 28 minutes. Out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, your clock is up. 28 minutes is up. Get out. <laughs> we hold her another lift. So... So this poor guy does it, 14 minutes, he doesn't get paid for it. That's 14 minutes stolen under, we call it lift, time and mileage shaving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put these two columns on a spreadsheet to see how much of my miles and time you're stealing or shaving or whatever you do with this upfront fair shenanigans, hocus pocus. It's tougher at Uber because you have to take a screenshot 
because Uber only puts P3, only when it butts in the back seat on your final receipt. Anyway, so this is going to change this year. This is my promise to all of you and watching later. This will not go this year. This will change. So uh, there you go. And then he goes to support, and Chris does support very well. <laughs> all right. What happened? Or uh, Hold on. Hey, oh, it's not going to work. Can, you can it. read the can, middle, middle one, I think, is first. Middle screenshot. And then you can go to left. Oh, so, okay. Originally yes. clearly shows 28 minute. Uh, trip took 42. I didn't change the route. What do you consider substantial change? So you expect a driver to drive for you for an additional 15 minutes for free. Your upfront was 22 for a 27 minute trip. That's what I accepted. I did not accept an upfront offer $22 for a 42 minute trip. So you're lying. Uh, and then uh, what happens is that you accept the upfront pay we offer at the beginning of the request. We are no not longer we are not longer able to make any adjustments for the payment. I apologize for this inconvenience. We have been testing earnings estimates for years, listening to and addressing feedback from our drivers on the streets, continually improving their experience. Problem is that has not ever been improved in any way. So first of all, um, there is no estimates with upfront fares. What, yeah. is he, what, is that, what is this idiot saying over there? You push the yeah. you push the wrong prompt, sir or madam, in whatever you are, <laughs> Philippines or whatever, India. I mean, I, I get, you know what it is, Chris? These people, first language is not English. Comprehension, first, is not English. The third, they're not drivers. The driver is saying something completely different. And this one going like, we've been testing estimates forever. I go like, what does that have to do with any of that? <laughs> so yeah, anyway, right. and then poor old Kyle keeps going at it. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> well, then pay. You did nothing. This is common sense. If Lyft didn't pay you for working 15 minutes overtime, you'd be okay, too? Wait, are you even a person? Are you an AI? <laughs> <laughs> so poor Kyle, guess what? No soup for you, Kyle. <laughs> you did not get an adjustment. I'm sorry, but you know what? I shouldn't be laughing. You, you, can get, you can get a lot of things back. You can get money back. You can get a, a lot of things back. But the one thing no, you no, no, this is, is, this, is I, this is unacceptable. Lyft, this is completely unacceptable. You know how many emails like this I get? I'm going to bombard you with these every time. You know what? From now on, Chris, I'm not even going to save it on my Google Docs. Forward, lift. <laughs> I'm going to bombard them with this shit, bro. I'm not even going to save it. I'm just because I'm so bombarded with shit that I, I my Google Drive is filling up. I need to buy more storage. Why am I supposed <laughs> to save it? It's your problem. I'm not lift support. I'm not getting paid. You know what I mean? It's directly to you. Straight up. Yep. The, the department. <laughs> Deal with it. You know what I mean? I was like, mm -hmm. no, but this, this, I guarantee you, if I'm still alive in a year, you guys will see a change on both platforms about this. No freebies. No freebies. Period. That's it. So I agree. 100%. I mean, you shouldn't be taking a ride that goes 15 minutes longer, 14 minutes in his case, and not be compensated for it. That is significantly longer for anybody's opinion. I agree. Streaming frames. 100%. We can't get time back. That's it. I am not working for free. You know, and, and you know, the best thing would be, what? okay, what do you guys think the best thing? Email me, Sergio at the rideshareguy.com. What do you think would be good? So what do you think, Chris? Okay, so 14 more minutes this way, right? Should they revert to the rate card time before upfront fares and pay the driver accordingly for those 14 minutes? Would that be fair? Sure. Sure. I think that would be a fair way. I think as long as the, however the estimate works, if you get under the estimate, the upfront fare is the upfront fare. So if you beat it by five minutes, if you beat it by a mile and a half, whatever it might be, yes. that upfront fare stays there. But the moment one of them is longer than what the estimated yes. either mileage or time is, that's when well, it should start bumping into into a, the old rate card. So yeah, like let's on, say this one, in this case, on this case, yeah. it would just be the time difference because there was less mileage because of the whole thing. But, you know, whatever might be happening, obviously, clearly there is more traffic going on at that time. Or, you know, maybe there was a train that was passing by. I don't know. Whatever it might have been that, that was matter. a holdup was still a holdup. It doesn't matter. So once that yeah. clock hits 28 minutes, hey, get the hell out of my car, passenger, or <laughs> start paying me the, the time and we're good to go. Or no, same I thing, if, if the distance is... That, you know. but it ha but uh, uh, the only uh, the only thing I would have to say though would be you can't 
like try to take the longest route every single time. Like if there's a clear indication that you're doing that on purpose to try to up your fare, then I could see them doing something in that aspect only because, you know, now you're trying to, 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 uh, circumnavigate and get extra. So I can see that aspect, but that would be something where it would have to be, you know, AI looking at it and saying, <laughs> Oh, this person is taking the longest route, the longest route every single time instead of the preferred route or the shortest route or something yeah. like that. So yeah, but they have, they easily. have all that, they have all that info. Okay. They can dock you for that. All I'm saying is, when scheduled trips like this happen, and as good as their systems may be, they're not seeing traffic ahead. Shit happens. I accepted the trip. It's a 20-minute trip on the fifth minute where I'm going. An accident happened. I'm stuck now. Yeah. You don't know that. Or, so, or you me, know, on a scheduled trip like yeah. this where yeah. they're, they're, they don't know the time difference, when you're about to get ready for the ride, update that information so then the driver can say, oh, is this going to be worth it for me or not? When they're getting then, the thing, right? Yeah, so they're getting the yeah, ping. Yeah, you know why they don't little, do it? You know, note, hold on, hold on. A little note that pops up that says, you know, this trip is esti was estimated for twenty two with current road conditions. It's going to take forty four or whatever it might okay. be. So then at that think, way you can get that. I think that would be great, except that they will never do it. If we mm -hmm. know Uber and Lyft as well as we do, they will never do that. Oh, they because won't. But... They will, because then nobody will take that trip and that scheduled trip, maybe going to LAX or, or airport, whatever, they will, nobody will pick that guy up. So yeah. that little bait and switch thing has to happen, you know. But if there is an adjustment, that should be made. Um, so anyway, uh, oh, what was this say? Gosh, these are long comments, bro. You guys got to keep it short. <laughs> By the way, as I think of the porn stars, platinum status, bullshit. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Okay, so it's all bullshit. So now you can have tokens, buddy. Don't worry about it. Just do 300, get your uh, tokens. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, let's talk about uh, uh, something that's going on in Colorado. And I'm yes. sure some drivers in Colorado, like Steve and Tony, if you're here, and a couple others are probably going to be a little happy or possibly happy to see something like this. But, uh, you know, last year we had uh, Stephanie V. Hill on uh, behind the wheel talking about the bill that she introduced into Colorado. And that was uh, the transparency bill, which basically would allow drivers and passengers and customers to see how much everything was. So they would know um, what the driver was making, what Uber or DoorDash or anybody was taking. Uh, same thing with the driver. They would know what's being um, all done and transparent. Um, and, you know, it and unfortunately had uh, been um, shoved into the fire and burned up and never came to fruition. And, uh, you know, it came down to, I think, what, one vote uh, who switched side. Well, and, um, yeah. That well, person. They, 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 that Stephanie V. Hill is on our channel. She was the sponsor last year for an exactly very similar bill that's coming to Colorado. So we're moving people. Chicago, yeah. but Minneapolis, what's Denver, we're moving, we're moving. So there is shit happening. And I'm seriously, I'm really involved with all of the shit. So now I want to personally, and I, I'm hoping he comes on. Okay. Um, there is a bill that uh, was just introduced in the Colorado Senate. It's called Rideshare Transparency and Deactivation Bill SB 2475. And this was long time coming now this is again stop screaming over there when i say uh there is no earnings increase involved in this there is two out of the three one complete utter transparency one meaning the driver sees what the passenger is paying immediately on the ping screen okay and the passenger more importantly more importantly the passenger will be seeing what the driver is making. So when you all email me saying, oh, Serge, he paid 50, I made 15, and you don't get tipped anymore is because of that, because Uber ripped a good one to that rider. Now the rider is going to see, holy shit, I paid 15, this poor man who was doing the work only got 15. Number one, great idea. Total transparency on both sides. Number two, unjust, no more unjust deactivations, meaning you don't get fired by a bot. You will have your voice in front of a panel, human, to put your case on because when they deactivate you, Chris, they don't tell you which trip, who complained, 
Oh, they go privacy of the passenger, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no, no. So these two things are in this bill. Okay. Now, who is the sponsor of this bill? That is a backstory to this. The backstory of this is um, you can go to the next uh, slide. Up top, Senator Kevin Priola of Colorado. Senator. Okay. So yes, my story was interesting about that. <laughs> isn't that interesting, bro? Isn't that interesting? My story oh, with Senator Kevin Priola real quick. Um, when Stephanie Vigil, who was a DoorDash driver before she got elected to the House, she literally was DoorDash driver for three years. And then she introduced this type of bill. Now, all these people are Democrats. So is Stephanie Vigil. Okay. Kevin Priola and Robert Rodriguez, the two senators, killed this bill last year, okay, in the committee. It wouldn't even allow it to go to a vote. And they're all Democrats, by the way. Figure this shit out, right? So about six months ago, I went to Denver for Steve Radcher Rodeo's event, which was a town hall meeting, which Stephanie V. Hill, whose bill was killed by these two, and... I went on a Twitter rant and called these two sellouts. I said, "You, how much Uber paid you? I said everything possible without cussing, okay? And what happens to that town hall meeting? 6-4, 280, Kevin Priola walks in. Everybody was like, oh, Serge, he's here, he's here. I'm like, okay, fine. So I gave him my card. I literally took him hostage for close to 45 minutes and had a great private conversation, explained everything to him. And I swear to God, he listened to all 45 minutes very intently. Then we tag team with Kim, uh, Side Money Plans, and Zach, Drives Fast. They're the delivery people. Boom, I tag team with them. They talk to him, he, you know, to him for about 15, 20 minutes. And he left. And to my surprise, two days ago, when I opened my eyes in the morning, this was in my mailbox. The Boom. guys who killed a similar bill last year now are the prime sponsors for the right chair transparency bill in Colorado. Kevin Priola, much respect. Open invitation to Show Me The Money Club. Much respect. I'm not saying I had anything to do with it, but let me tell you something. He listened so intently. We turned our apps on, showed him everything that's going on. I swear to God, Chris, he did not know anything. Remember, we talked about this yep. ourselves when I got back from Denver. And he listened, and he listened. And now he is the prime sponsor. So this is how this shit works, people. So in your own cities, go do the same. Go talk to your city councilors. Go talk to your legislators. Email them. Call them. Bombard them. This is how this shit's going to work. And all I'm saying to you is that it worked. Now we have a bill with those two sponsors. I'm pretty sure it's going to pass. And Mr. Priola and Senator Rodriguez, if you need any help, I'll fly to Denver. We'll talk to Uber and Lyft because they're going to come say, Oh, we don't like it because we're giving up the privacy of the passenger who got assaulted. I'm like, yeah, what about the driver that got assaulted? What about that? Mm -hmm. So I love it. I, I am so thrilled that when I saw bro, he was the prime sponsor. I was like, yes, something <laughs> happened. Something good happened. There you go. Well, he definitely must have had a conversation and change of heart after that conversation he because did. He did. for him to bring it back on and sponsor it. I'm just surprised Stephanie's not on that bill, though. Um, so. Either way. Well, Stephanie's um, on board. I talked to Steve. Stephanie likes the bill. So she's mm -hmm. going to support. Yeah. Well, that's good. So either way, um, some more changes are coming in different areas, uh, and it'll be interesting to see. So I can't do it here, buddy. Ken, you got to do it. You got you need grassroots movements. Who did we have last week, Chris? Malda, Minnesota Uber and Lyft Drivers Association. Ida Lee. They started with 10 drivers on a Facebook group. Look where they are. They're about to pass an ordinance in Minneapolis. This is not going to work by just saying, what are you doing for me? I'm like, no, you guys got to do some legwork. You got to go put Facebook groups, driver groups. When you're in queue at the airport, pass flyers, start talking, start a grassroots movement. We will find friendly ears to listen to us. And that's it. I know some people don't like legislation, but we're at the point that the only way we can bring these people to the table, you know, I'm talking Uber Lyft, is legislation. So... Actually, it's not just legislation. It's the threat of legislation. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's what we need to get to. And Mr. Uh, Senator Priola, much respect, much love, open invitation, anytime. There you go.
Well, I think you're going to have to reach out to him on on Twitter and be like, "Hey, <laughs> would you like I to did. come on?" And talk about I did, I did, I did. Oh, I nice. even emailed his office, so I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see if we could get that on. But uh, let's move on. Let's talk about this uh, lift it, fixing problems, hopefully, of unjust deactivations due to fraudulent passenger claims. And uh, for those who don't want to see something that they might not, uh, you oh, might not want to look. Seen it, bro. Well, true, but uh, just giving the fair warning just in case. So uh, here you go. Take it away. <laughs> okay. So without grossing anybody out, okay, I'm seeing comments. Okay, email me, Sergio at the rideshareguy.com. I'll introduce you to the guys with Malda. I'll introduce you to the guys in Seattle. I'll introduce the guys to Colorado. Look, there are a lot of, they're not your traditional unions. They're like more like associations. Denver, I think it's uh, independent Denver United, uh, um, which is Drivers Association there. You can create an association in your own city. You don't have to be your typical uh, SEIU or UAW union. We're not talking unions here. We're talking power of numbers. Long story short, this driver, okay, <laughs> drunk guy, okay, drunk guy uh, gets in his car, Chris, LA. This is LA driver. He goes, the guy pissed in my car. There goes my night. That's, that's his fucking stains, okay? Of course, he takes these pictures, sends it to Lyft. What do you think Lyft paid this guy, Chris? Don't you think he should have paid the full 150? Oh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know what they paid this what? guy? 80 bucks. Buck? <laughs> Stingy. Oh, boy. Okay, so, but that wasn't the problem. That wasn't the problem. The guy got the 80 bucks. He's getting it cleaned up. The next morning, he wakes up. There is the text message on the left. It goes, your driver account is on hold, Chris. The dumb shit who pissed in his car told Lyft that the guy was... Look at what, they, what, they, what the passenger said. The Lyft safety team may call you soon. Please answer. There is an update, blah, blah, blah. And um, it says... Well, this is my texting back and forth. The guy reaches out to me. He goes, Sergio, I'm panicking. What am I supposed to do? I go answer the goddamn email. So what the guy did, Chris, the guy who pissed in his car, didn't like the $80 hit that he got, okay? You should have gotten like $250, like the old days, sir, whoever you are, pissed mm -hmm. in the car. But he called Lyft and said, I have never drank alcohol. So, so he, he called Lyft and complained that this, the driver was drunk or under the influence and that the driver asked for cash. For the cleanup. I know this driver personally. He's from LA. Look at his text back and forth. Put the last one back up. Because I want to I want to put the timeline on this. So if you guys see on top on the left screenshot, the time is 838. Right, Chris? Is it 838? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So the driver goes, Oh my God, such an insult. I have never drank alcohol in my life, not even a sip, and never will. And now because the customer pee in my car, unknowingly because the fucking guy was passed out, he just relieved himself. He, they're accusing me of being under the influence. And what does Lyft do? Look, I'm not blaming Lyft. They put you on, uh, on hold or they suspend your account, right? And then go to the next one now. So I just want you to guys pay attention to the timeline. 838 is when he got the text from Lyft. Um, on the left screenshot, Text, uh, the email time is 9.13, so it's about 45 minutes. Lyft is sending the driver an email saying, please respond because um, we have a passenger, we have a report alleges that you are under the influence and ask the rider for cash. Okay, you guys see that on the left, right? The guy says, of course not, wrong, fraud. Next email, again from Lyft, 9.21. So now it's 8.38 to 9.21, less than an hour right so that's when we're texting with him I, he goes what am i supposed to do Serge?" i go bro i go go answer the fucking email they didn't deactivate you they just suspended you if you don't then they will deactivate you right so in the middle one it says you know the procedure basically for this and look at the one on the right chris 9 35 a.m literally less than an hour after his account was suspended here is the email he receives from Lyft. 
This is Ryan. Thank you for taking the time to respond, which you did respond to these two emails on the left. I'm glad to hear that you would never drive while under the influence, and boom, they reinstated his account. How good is that? Is that good? Because, look, we pound these companies quite a bit. But when it's credit is due, we need to give these companies credit. I know Lyft is working on this process to make this process a lot better. And if this is how it's going to be, Lyft, much love. Okay, you guys can call me shill and whatever the fuck you guys want to call me. If every process goes like this, within less than an hour, a driver is put back on the road because some asshole who pissed in his pants last night fraudulently accused this guy of something, I'm speechless. I'm great. Wonderful. Right? So now let's see if it works in a bigger picture. Yeah. But Well, dash camera footage would definitely go far in that one. So well, that's why well, you should he, he pissed in the back seat, bro. He pissed in the back seat. What dash camera? No, I know. But I mean, the fact of the whole thing with the, the under the influence bullshit, especially, I mean, first of all, you could definitely take that because how far into the night was this driver already? I'm sure probably quite far, meaning he's probably already given rides. And if everything yeah. went to and from perfectly fine, I don't think that driver is going to be. So that is something that needs yeah. to be really uh, addressed right off the bat. Something yeah. like you could easily go in and see how long was the driver on beforehand and yeah. all that. And then the whole thing with the cash, yeah, that's, something that you could definitely submit um when it comes to the dash cam footage and it would clear everything there so i mean yeah when it comes to the pissing that's what pictures are for and uh unfortunately that driver did not get the full amount but uh oh, that's when i would go take it to to somewhere and uh whatever they charge it then i would charge oh, it to what the lift. f will come on bro i told you no oh well wow thanks Wow. Appreciate Will, that. Thank you, man. Thank you. Much appreciated. I hope you're safe. I hope you're enjoying your black uh, Tesla. Um, so anyway, if Lyft, I know you're watching. Uh, I, I'm giving you credit on this. Uber did this about a month and a half ago, you know, in L.A. announcement. Look, these things, people, are all happening because we're talking about it. And I'm, I'm literally talking to you people without your input, without what you guys want done on just the activation protection. ID uploads on the passengers right? This type of process, quick turnover, not this like, let me get back to you in like 72 hours, all that bullshit, right? I mean, one hour, Chris, in my life is unheard of from getting suspended to getting put back on the platform. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, you, you yep. this is, it cannot go smoother than this. So Lyft, I hope you're going to duplicate this nationwide because this is the type of protection drivers need. And we are working with these companies. I'm telling you, these are the things that I want to see. But more importantly, I just want to see nobody drives for free for one minute and one fucking mile going forward. But we're working on that. But this is amazing news. Thank you, Lyft. Much appreciated. There you go. Yep. All right. So let's uh, let's give away some of Sergio's uh, money when it comes to hopefully you going out and getting some packs of gum yourself. So enter hashtag money in the chat now. And uh, get your chance to win twenty five dollars. We'll do the drawing in just a little bit. And I spent uh, all my up? money, bro. I spent all my money on gum. Oh boy, good. Well, that's a good thing. Know. So, no, I hope you're chewing it. You get, you can get the the jawline coming in. I so couldn't even buy a gum. What are you talking about? <laughs> you didn't watch the video. <laughs> I haven't. No, I dude, I haven't had time oh, to be able. Come to on, man. It. You're my partner. You got to watch my videos, man. I watch your shit. I watch oh, him man. most of the time, but that one I wasn't able to yet because that just that just came out the other day. So, dude, this dude, this weekend was. Oh, you know insane. what I could not buy? You know what? what I could not buy? You know what I could not buy? My favorite. I couldn't buy a donut. No, no, fuck the donut. I couldn't buy M Ms. <laughs> I couldn't buy Twix, and I couldn't buy Kit Kat. With that what? three dollar and fifteen cents. Well, were you I doing think. king size like the big motherfucker? No, no, or no, no, just, no, like, no, uh, no, no. No, no king size, regular size. It's LA. Okay, we're talking LA now. We're we're in LA, Jesus. expensive city. Everything is expensive, so I couldn't buy shit. I, I bought, think it's I still under a dot. I think it's still under two dollars. I, I gotta go to the grocery store next time I look and see what yeah, the that's Buffalo they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, no, cost of here. living is a lot different. You gotta that's stop it. uh stop walking out with stealing stuff out there. Otherwise, they're gonna raise the price on those good people who are paying. Okay, hold on. I gotta put my light up. Uh, I I gotta I gotta move. I got to move, bro. I got to move to Florida or Texas. This place is turning into a shithole. Hey, you can move next Seriously. door to me. 
And uh, okay. then you and I could uh, could do this live together. <laughs> I can't freeze my ass. That's my problem. I don't like freezing. Well, that's not for much longer. So hopefully. Okay. But <laughs> all right, let's go into the next thing. Let's talk about uh, maybe we should pivot from passenger or from driver education to passenger education. Yes. I million percent. I'm telling you, I'm being very honest with you people. So this knucklehead over here, Nick Huber, uh, you know. I don't care if you come at me today at Twitter because I came at you that day. All right. <laughs> this is a very common complaint I'm hearing from a lot of a lot of passengers. They would get in my car. My car is clean, smells nice, roomy, mm -hmm. outside inside clean, no shit. I know I, you know, I read the GPS properly. They go, oh, you speak English. I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> and then he goes, the last like six were like horrible cars. They all wheels were falling off and this and that. I'm going like, seriously? So this knucklehead, who is a venture capitalist, billionaire probably, he goes, the last five Ubers, this is on Twitter. The last five Ubers, I love Twitter, by the way. So if you're on Twitter, I'm at Sergio A-V-E-D. Come check it out. We'll have some battles. The last five Ubers I've taken have been about to fall apart. Okay. Well, they, actually, there's a point. When I was in Colorado, Chris, I took like five, six Ubers. Half of them crack on the windshield. Wheel is like out of alignment. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I mean, of course, I'm not going to say anything. Dirty, smelly, needed brakes, ball tires. Nah, this guy is a little over the top. How does this guy know that car had ball tires? Did you go check yeah, the right. thread? You're full of <laughs> shit. Nick. Anyway, dirty, smelly, needed, needed brakes, ball tires, out of alignment. Whatever. A guy today had tape on his dash. So his passengers couldn't see the maintenance lights on. It's a joke. Dish out one-star reviews. It is the only way. Ugh, Nick. It is not the only way. Why don't you go talk to Uber? Because you're one-star. They'll deactivate that poor soul and this fucking livelihood, right? And, and, then, and then the conversation continues. And in the middle, some, start, some people started coming at him. He goes, want a nicer uh, ride? <laughs> Pay for <laughs> you read that. I can't read my glasses are shit. We read the which one? The written middle screenshot. <laughs> oh, want a, want a nicer ride? Pay for the higher standards. Dish out one stars to someone else. These people are trying to get by. I get a one star if the person sucks, uh, but giving a one star because they are poor is insane. Yeah. So and he said, I said the and, and I said the rotors are warped. The brake pads haven't been one. changed in years. Which, yeah. which you you would not be able to know that that information. No, uh, you couldn't. No. And, I mean, and, you could feel you could feel if the brake. I mean, honestly, actually, if the brakes are bad and the rotors are warped, unless they're like really really warped, a passenger yeah. will not feel it. The driver will, but a passenger will not. So this dude's full of shit. Okay, um, and then we would, would have no read idea. Read the next brake tweet. Pads. Huh? Yeah, read the next tweet. But, offer, but the reality offer. is, I'm sure the uh, if you hear the brakes then you could probably say, yeah, the brakes need to be changed. Yeah, so, but all five, last five in a row, are you buying that? No. No, oh, bro, come on. No, and then the next guy is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Offer to fix his unaffordable car for him, then so you uh, so you can keep the system running smoothly. <laughs> <laughs> you know how Uber says we'll have to run the system smoothly, right? So this is yep. the problem. This is my pivot going this year. Every time I'm driving... I am going to, and then I get, went back at him with some shit, and then whatever happens, happens on Twitter. Um, long story short, this is our pivot. As drivers, I know you're all personable people. You talk to your passengers. You try to get tips, all that good shit. Open up the conversation. Icebreakers. You guys know what, if you're a veteran, you know what the icebreaker is. Just say, hi, how are you? Read the room. You know if they want to talk to you. You know if they want to quiet, shut up and drive. But if they want to talk to you, you know, start probing into you know ask him a question you know don't go into like uber is screwing me you know how much what they're no don't do that just you know warm it up a little bit if it's a 10 minute trip because today you guys will watch that video how i schmooze this guy in a seven and a half minute eight minute trip in my car i was quiet for two minutes then i started opening the subject and he was an amazing amazing passenger and the conversation of how to do it we need to convert passengers to our side these educate the driver this and this and strike and whatever okay which we'll have news by the way next week so hold your horses everybody who's waiting for an announcement for the 14th we have announcements coming up on that 
But what I'm saying is that we need to start educating the passenger each time. If we get 20 people, if 10 are open to talking, you know, tell them, you, you know, can I guess what you're paying? And all of you pretty much know it's a double of what you're getting or a little bit more. You know, it'll be like a good icebreaker. And then these passengers are going to go, okay, fuck, I'm paying for this, but the guy is working for peanuts. That's not cool. Some of them will have hearts. Some of them, all they want to do is bus fares and be in a car. I get it. But we need to start turning rider opinions around. And and we, you guys need to do that every time you're in a car with some decent passenger who's willing to listen to you. So I'm doing it every weekend. Every time I drive, I go like, hey, you know. Yep. Education yeah. is key. So Absolutely. education of the driver is key, but education of the passenger is more key. Because, Chris, does Uber care if you quit driving? They have like another 50 behind you, right? But does yep. Uber care if a passenger gets pissed off and puts a tweet out, delete Uber or some shit because they're fucking my drivers? Then they mm -hmm. go, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know what I mean? Yeah. So start talking to your passengers, please. So anyway, yeah. Yep. All right. Well, let's uh, give away some money right now. So if you entered hashtag money, you will be able to see. Maybe you will win right now some $25. Email me, so so guy.com. If you don't email me within 24 hours, you will not get money. So you know. So don't email me like four days later. <laughs> JQ, nobody. Congratulations. Nobody, you just nobody won, won, so you didn't win anything. <laughs> <laughs> you just won $25 of Sergio's money. Yes, sir. Um, hold on. Let me write this guy's name down. <laughs> I was like, oh, hold on. JQ money. No money? Nobody. Okay, hold on. Thank you, nobody. All right, Jake, you nobody. Sergio at the right here. Coming so member, you. appreciate that. Um, email me 24 hours you have from this minute to get your 25 bucks. Otherwise, no email, no money. Um, 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 um. Nobody wants spin again. Mike Smith, the, the conspiracy theorist. Yeah, I did. <laughs> nobody. Oh, I, 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 I'm sorry, Mike. I just got it. Nobody wants spin again. <laughs> there that it is. Good. That was good. That was good. I'm a little slow today, Mike. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, well, let's let's move on. Let's talk about the risk. We've all been talking about safety and you know keeping your head on a swivel stick and paying attention to what's going on. Um, but where does it rank right now when it comes to being a rideshare driver or a food delivery driver? Because right uh, now it's pretty damn risky out there. This is from July 12, 12 2023, uh, Forbes magazine. Okay. They ranked, Chris, that, you, you know, rideshare and delivery driving is more dangerous than being a firefighter and a cop. Did you know that? I do now. Yeah, you do now. So these are the top 10. Fishing and hunting workers, like, you know, those guys that go to Alaska for, like, crab hunting and shit. That's crazy. Roofers. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, you're going to slip and fucking break your shit. <laughs> Aircraft pilots. I'm not sure about that because that's, like, once in a while, no, actually, I'm sure a lot. Of I don't know. I mean, you hear about that Alaska plane that's losing all the bolts and shit. I know. Can you imagine that the whole fucking oh. thing fell off? Structural iron but, steel but workers. Thing, but, I, the, but the thing is, when it comes to aircraft pilots, most of those are probably small aircraft pilots. Um, and if you're flying in fog and things like that, you're not noticing the area. Um, yeah, you could you could definitely like a commercial airliner is a little bit different because uh, yeah. That's you Fire. would definitely hear a lot more on that, but yeah, there's there's definitely some uh, some issues when it comes to aircraft yeah, so pilots. Basically, rideshare and delivery driving is in the top five of the most risky jobs. And since we are cab drivers with an app, okay, I mean, cab driving used to be the, one of the top three two dangerous jobs in the past. You know what I mean? Before Uber killed the cabs, right? So what's our mm -hmm. difference between them and us? I mean, it's the same shit, except that we don't carry cash. But there is not a day goes by now, literally. Actually, delivery drivers are more susceptible, Chris, to getting carjacked because, look, as a rideshare driver, what will you all do? I know what I will do, right? I'm in my car. That's my protection. Lock the doors. If somebody is putting a gun, you know, at the windshield to get me out of the car, not a goddamn chance. I'm going to floor that thing and run your his ass over. And that's what's the end of the, that's the story. I mean, that's it um but as a delivery driver okay first you have to get out of the car walk to the restaurant pick up the food walk back that you're out of your protection zone 
then you have to maybe go deliver in some dark street or whatever or apartment you're going to get out of your car right for you know potentially extended period of time and that's when all these carjackings are happening you know what i mean and they're yep. getting shot and killed and all this shit so so uber lift the pay we get is absolutely not commensurate to what the risks are at the moment okay it's just not everything is risk reward all these jobs up top get paid like 3x to 4x that a rideshare driver does and when we were debating this on crossfire with knucklehead harry he was like i go like Harry, it's not like you know <laughs> The, the risk reward is not there. I can't work for twenty one fifty before expenses in LA, and then go. Oh, it's fine. I'm like, no, I, I'm not gonna do it. So, so we are doing something very, very dangerous. And please, dash cam, don't get boxed in when you park to pick up. Make sure your path is open. All these things we've said a million times before, right? And uh, yeah, have your guards up. Don't put the you know window all the way down. All that shit. Yeah. Okay. So. So it's just uh, be smart, be safe out there, and uh, yeah, always try to make good decisions. Know what you're going to do. Put yourself in a situation in terms of what you do in your mind. Go through the motions so it becomes second nature. And in the event, if you ever find yourself in a situation like that, um, you know, you, you'll you have some muscle memory on what to do. So um, those are a couple of things. But don't physically put yourself into a situation to try to get out of it. But um, like I'm saying, for like to train for it. Absolutely. Muscle All right. Memory. So okay. let's let's talk about let's go on and talk about how how the uh, David versus Goliath is going to be a little bit harder because Uber is yeah, beginning yeah. lobbying efforts, especially in California right now. Look at this shit. Look at this headline, bro. Thirty million dollars, Chris. We have thirty million bucks to battle this. I shit. wouldn't mind thirty million dollars. I could get a lot of investment well, into that. This is what we're fighting against. Okay, so yep. Uber is spending $30 million in California. Um, I think, you know, what they're doing is they're getting ready for potentially Prop 22 being uh, thrown out at the California Supreme Court in the next couple of quarters. Mm -hmm. You know, they're getting ready. And the, this effort is being led by Ramona Prieto. You can come on, show me the money, Ramona. We're going to have a good time. Uber's yeah, head nice. of public policy and communications for the Western region. That's my region, Ramona. I'd be glad to meet you. Uh, in the statement, Prieto added that that includes electrification, supporting small business. Huh? What? Whatever. Repairing the state's broken insurance markets. Oh, I know where this is going. Remember, <laughs> we're investigating their commercial insurance shenanigans? Uh-huh. Huh. Okay. Okay. All uh, right. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Does that mean if the if the commercial insurance rates go lower, does that mean that drivers get paid more? Yeah, sure. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. When, one can hope. One can only I, hope. I'm, I'm I'm always hopeful. Except I know my State Farm insurance bill went up forty percent last six months. I know that. Oh yeah. It's... <laughs> so stop crying over there, Uber. Shut up. Whatever. <laughs> and then, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, our insurance rates are up. So you're gonna change litigation. But I'll bet you that litigation is for commercial insurance shenanigans you guys are playing over there to lower commercial insurance so your take rate goes higher. I'm just kind of guessing that you're not going to help me with my homeowner's insurance. You're not going to help me with my personal car insurance, all that good shit. So hold on. Do it too fast. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, $30 million, Chris. $30 million. It's right here. Um, this article is in Politico. Uh, let me find the thirty million. Actually, they just wrote a check. Company is dropping Devin. thirty million into its existing state committee, uh, called the Uber Innovation Pack or PAC Pack, Political uh, Action all Committee, of which it plans to spend on candidates and causes in twenty twenty four. People familiar with his plan said, "Yeah, so we ain't got Uber's thirty million. But guess what? We got it. We're, we got three hundred and fifty people line. here. Hold on, hold on." Uber's rollout includes a $250,000 check to support Prop 1 on the March ballot, Governor Gavin Newsom's effort to revamp the fund state's mental health system. Prop yeah. 1 is Newsom's biggest priority, and the primary so far faces minimal opposition and spending against it. So why would you put any money into it if it's I don't know. pretty I much going to be, you know, the bee's knees? That's because all rideshare drivers are losing their fucking mind. 
mental health, right? And maybe that's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because they see Uber, like a, they Uber. do a three dollar How about you just give me that two hundred fifty thousand dollars? I'll buy a nice house with it, and we'll call it a day. <laughs> No, I'm like, you know what it is? Maybe that's what, but yeah, I, I almost lost my mind because I did a 315 on Uber and 320 on Lyft and I couldn't buy two packs of gum Uber. Yes, I am fucking losing my mind. My mental health is really, really deteriorating at the moment. So maybe, yeah, that's that's money well spent on that one. Not to my governor. No, that's not my governor. Um, so somebody said something about commercial insurance. Hold on a second. Commercial insurance has skyrocketed. Good. Mine was 50%. Seems the big one. Okay, okay. Uh, please email me, Sergio at the rideshareguy.com. You could be part of my investigation, sir. Um, and I would like to see the bill. Okay. Uh, I'm not questioning you. I believe you, but I'm really looking into this like super deep. So you could probably help me with my investigation, Sergio at the rideshareguy.com. There you go. All right. Yeah. We'll, we'll keep you updated on what's going on there. Uh, what 30 million of moves bucks, they're trying to make. What's up? $30 million, bro. Ooh. Yeah, right. Unfortunately, you can't say, hey, give that to every driver and split it because it'd only be like Why a couple of dollars each. <laughs> Why would you? Why would you? Yeah. <laughs> well, either way, we'll keep you posted on what the where they're trying to look and you know where that PAC is going. Um pretty soon and probably become a super pack, but uh you no, know, we that's have neither our pack, bro. I'm telling you, we have our pack. Right here, right here on the chat. Now, people, 10,000 watching later, we have our pack. We just got to use this. David Goliath, chip, chip, chip. I'm telling you, chip, chip, chip. I ain't giving up yet. I'm not dead yet. Uh, chip, chip, chip. It's working. Trust me. Shit's coming. It's working. You yep. just got to stand strong, you know, and don't run. When I say please help in chicago please help in minneapolis please help in you know now portland is coming to chris uh oregon they learned from their neighbors <laughs> in washington state it's coming just chip 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 cool chip, chip. Yep. Chip. and then uh All right. i have a new friend at lyft so um this one's for you um so you know who you are um uh, so you know let's ask the let's ask the 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 <laughs> chat the question which one of these two knuckleheads will you guys be? Will well, I wouldn't pick either one, but which one? Okay, well, we'll put it up, and then you guys will decide. I will not pick either one of these up. Definitely one of them. I will not even go near this well, guy. Hold on. Before that, uh, I yeah. just put in into the chat. If you'd like to come on to the show, um, by all means, you can. If you want to ask questions, state some thoughts or something, uh, use the link that was just in the chat and uh you can come on uh we're gonna go through this real quick and then um we are going to uh start bringing people on uh we ask about five minutes uh just make sure you're in a quieter area good uh internet connection just so uh -huh. you know we're not running into issues if there is any issues unfortunately we're gonna have to cut you off um but with that being said we want to invite you on again so here is the link um and you guys can come on if you like and now let's go in and talk about um, when it comes to these fake names, especially now when it comes to a profile picture on top of it. Did you, did you block this shithead's face out? Yeah, thank God. A little bit. Okay, so the Uber. Look, I'm telling you, Uber, I have endless inventory. <laughs> you guys think I'm kidding. I have endless inventory of these knuckleheads, okay? All right. Shark. Maybe, maybe doable, you know, maybe I'll pick you up. The, no, because I would be feared that, you know, it, it might be like Jay's uh, um, person that wanted to, to smell his tongue. He might yeah. want to bite you. <laughs> <laughs> the one on the right. How many red flags do you need, Chris, to not pick somebody up? I, I see one. a red flag right in, right in the picture. <laughs> and, I mean, really, I like there's literally literally a red flag on him um so yeah no the answer is definitely not i mean how does this go through the system lift and would you take it's a new take account. Right. if you, if you saw that account. if you saw that pop up on your screen what would you do would you take it or no i wouldn't first let of all know. i wouldn't i wouldn't push the x button number one i would let that ping through 
<laughs> add to his fucking misery for another 15 seconds. And hopefully every other driver that's going to receive this. Does this idiot really, really think he's going to get picked up with two nine millimeters in his head? Nope. Does he think this is cute? Probably. I don't know. Probably. And if, if you notice. Cancel. You don't accept. What cancel? This yeah. lift, please. This is the next target. All A these need it. to yep. go. Uber, all these need to go. Every week, Uber. You know, yeah. So, hell no, he's well, right. So, he, here's the thing with that one. The, um, the If you notice, it's also a new uh, person. So, new rides, yeah. new rating, one yeah. month. So, that means it's a new account. So, I can only yeah. imagine what happened that they got kicked off the platform and had to create a new account at this point well, already. Absolutely. Which, this is absolutely. where this needs to stop too is if these are passengers that already were kicked off the platform exactly. they need to not allow them stay to off stay off. Take Once you get kicked off, you stay off. <laughs> yeah exactly great i see lift listen to chris once you're off you're off no more off. fake email debit card all this bullshit to get back on and this moron of morons on the planet iq of Four IQ of cockroach right there. Actually, they probably have more IQ than you, sir, because they survived. Look at you. Two nine millimeters like this, and some driver is going to come pick you up? <laughs> yeah, nope. Pass on that. Not unless I got the two up there, too. <laughs> you just won't see I mean, them. <laughs> I mean, you know what, though? Some amateur, some, some poor schmuck, who newbie, doesn't know the risks of this shit. That is the top five dangerous job on the planet. I go, yeah, I'll just take this guy. He's probably a cool guy. <laughs> I was like, oh, man. Anyway, yeah, there you go. So don't, when you guys see this dude with the two nine millimeters, please just let it ping out. You know what I mean? yeah. yeah. All right. Well, yeah. common consensus is saying that uh, nobody would take that. So uh, I'm sure that person is very surprised. sitting there waiting for a ride. But you know what? Here's the thing. If anybody was in that area and you see a ride that went through for like hours and hours and it just wasn't going anywhere, then uh, that was probably that person there. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> requested, a, a requested a ride at 8 p.m. Uh, still requesting the same ride at, at like 2 a.m. <laughs> Good question, Julia Aguirre, Julio. Uh, I don't know. I will actually find that out what market that was. It was sent by... Um, okay, let's do this, Chris. Let's give him, not give him, let's have him put the thing for the next 25. And uh, then we'll have people come on. Okay, five minutes, no filibustering. Tell us what city you're from, how many trips, how long you've been driving, and then we'll have a chit chat. So, all right, well, we got Tate coming on. Tate, how you doing? Good, how are you doing? Good, hey, how are you, Tate? Good, how are you doing, Sergio? Good, man. What's up with you? How you? Where are you from? What? How many years? Uh, many Raleigh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, I've been doing Uber and Lyft for about fourteen months now, a little over a oh. year. Okay. Done eighteen hundred Uber rides, another couple hundred Lyft rides, and I've done probably a dozen or so for rides now. Rides, ride share. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So comparatively. Obviously, you're favoring Uber because they're busier in your city. Um, yes. But if Uber and Lyft were equally busy, which one would you do? Uh, I I think I would still do Uber. To so go to Uber? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the app I, works better. The shit's better. And uh, how's your uh, earnings lately? Uh, they they've been okay. You have to really be you, you have to be selective about when you what day of the week you drive. And what hours you drive uh so i i just do this part-time i'm retired and so i just do it a couple of days a week uh on the weekends i i i never stop i mean i and i my i primarily thursday fridays and saturdays in raleigh i turn x off and so i do all xl and comfort rides oh, okay on, uh on thursday friday and saturday and i i i never complete a ride without having another ride queued that's awesome and but then so i mean you're you're saying selective but you're talking about the time and the place you or the days you work so you accept pretty the much days everything. you work the hours you work uh 
I mean, there's a significant difference in what I get at seven o'clock in the evening versus 10 o'clock. Yeah. At, yeah. At, at, at night, particularly here. It's a college town. NC State is here. It's a big yeah. university. Uh, and these, I'm an old man. These young kids, they, they don't even <laughs> leave. They, they don't yeah. even leave to go out until 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does it surge quite a bit in, in those? Because I have a friend in Syracuse. It uh, makes a killing. Uh, uh, it, it does surge quite a bit. The last couple of weeks, I think it surged less. I'm not sure okay. why. Uh, but uh, it's, it's surged quite a bit. Uh, I know this weekend, and I keep pretty, pretty, pretty close records on what I make per hour uh, and all that. And I was at about $38 an hour, and that's real-time hours uh, for this past weekend. Uh, keeping in mind that that's that's comfort in XL. I, I didn't I didn't do any X rides at all. Yeah. Uh, lift is kind of disappointing in this area. Uh, the, the, I, I do twenty Uber rides to every lift ride, and uh, the lift rides are all small, short. People know that lift is cheaper than Uber around okay. here so that's typically what you'll get uh <clears throat> so i uh saturday night i did 19 rides uh and the people were generous i have tipped 15 times out of 19 trips on saturday wow. night and so yeah that's what i said <laughs> i would tip you too bro um so uh you're enjoying your retirement you're doing a little cash on the side you know um yeah man i mean this is what the gig economy is for i mean all kudos to you i hope you're making whatever uber says you're making in your city i think north carolina was charlotte was like pretty low on i think it was like 20 bucks 22 bucks or some ridiculous thing yeah you know, I'm, I'm over 30 dollars an hour per per online hour yeah per yes yeah okay so that's how you figure it online hour so actually it's a little bit higher for figure online so i i live about 20 25 minutes north of the downtown area okay and and so if i figure in my drive time there my drive time back you know, okay uh then it's probably a little bit closer instead of 35 or 36 it's probably 30 32. okay you just have to be that really includes, that includes your tips and everything right yes Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's good money, bro. I mean, as long as you know your costs, right? Cost per mile, you're running in Excel, it's probably more costly, whatever. Yeah. But uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I, can't beat that. Yeah. So I, I drove last night on a Monday night and it, it was it was terrible. I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> Worst yeah. night to drive is Monday night, bro. Worst it was night. it was absolutely horrible. I mean, I'm like I kicked myself the whole time I was out. Well, I got into you. It. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you couldn't sleep or what? what was like? <laughs> <laughs> Monday nights are the worst nights to drive, period. Well, and I proved that last night. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what's good about the ride share. See, we, we mess up, but we learn. He will never That's do it again, right. hopefully. <laughs> That's right. There you go. Well, thank you for joining us, man. Much appreciated. Right, appreciate you having me. Thank yep. you, man. Have a good one, Tate. Have a good Bye. one. Be safe. Be safe. All right. Now we got Carlisle <laughs> coming on. How you doing? What do we have? Carlisle. Carlisle. All right, Carlisle. Five, four, <laughs> three. You got to unmute yourself if you're there. And camera on. Now we got to pull you off. All right. Carlos. Let's go, Carlos. All okay. right. Carlos, how you doing? Carlos, what's up? All right. What? Oh. I don't know. Hold on, we'll try Carlisle oh. one more. Carlisle, are you able to get on? You got to unmute your mute. mute bleh, unmute. Okay, your there's mic. like 300 Pardon? plus over here. Can you somebody come on, please? All right. <laughs> um. Hold on. We got Carlos coming. Hi, on. Can, you, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yep, we can now. Yeah. All right. All right. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi. Hey, How's Carlos, going? how are you? Azusa, Azusa, California, Azusa. baby. My name, not my neighborhood. LA County. Before. That's right. LA County. How you doing? 
what do you call it? Uh, not much. I um, I'm in San Diego. I I took a a trip uh, to Tijuana from a uh, commerce. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Hey. I I gotta oh, pay the rental. You are. You're, the, you're the guy in the Tesla for the last three years rental, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I have your number. I'm I shaved up here. That's why you recognize me. What? Yeah, I just did. A, I just dropped off in Tijuana. Wow, I know they didn't send me to Tijuana, but maybe next time. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're nah, the, 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 yeah, yeah. Yep. So where was the trip? Where was the trip to to from where to Tijuana? Where was it from? How long? Jesus. From Commerce, Commerce, the city of oh, Commerce, wow. right there, yeah, yeah, East LA, on the uh, five hundred and sixty miles or so. Yeah, uh, one hundred forty-six bucks, two hours and ten minutes. Deal. Now you're charging. <laughs> <laughs> now, now look how much battery I have now none i can't see yeah yeah so you got to charge and you got to yeah. put your desti destination filters back to lax one to lax one to downtown buddy yeah like this like this on a v oh but yeah. you're in a rental you can only do uber shit okay uh yeah yeah i don't know set it to lax and switch between uh you know downtown la and lax like every 10 minutes you get hit you, you catch a fish hopefully yeah yeah it's it's pretty busy but i got a charge i can't take every ride yeah yeah but uh yeah All like right. i've been watching you guys since you guys started and keep doing your thing uh i, I appreciate you guys we're doing it thank you for your sure. support i have your number i'm going to contact you because i want to do a, like a behind the wheel interview with you because i don't know any driver that's been renting for the, from the first day yeah yeah i've been doing it uh, I, I also do stuff on the side that's why i'm able to afford it yeah <laughs> I know. well that, that would be great to again good to know with the uh behind the wheel stuff i mean yeah. you know kind well, of you're, the, what is, yeah, I sell. You're five bills i five sell bills a week, charging ah four bills four bills that's it i didn't get i got no insurance no roadside i got the small battery and i charge cheap every day so that's what's able okay. to get me to 400. Okay, cool. If, right. if I were to do all that, I'd, I'd be paying 550 and I'm not doing that. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, that's yeah. Five, 500 is crazy, bro. I mean, I don't know. You got to drive 60 hours for that. Minimum, all right. minimum. Yeah. All right, my man. All right, look, Good to see you, you guys. Be safe. All be right, safe stay now. motivated. I will, I will talk to you. Don't worry, I have your number. Stay motivated. Okay, that's right. Carlos, attitude is everything. Have a, look at his attitude. Great attitude. You know I mean, <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. Be safe. All right, have a good one. All right, so let's try Carlisle one more time. Carlisle, are you there? Yeah, you unmute yourself Carlisle. if you can. I don't know. Five, four, three, Carlisle. two, one. All right. Well, we'll try you again in a little bit if you can. Oh, wait, what do on. I need to do? Oh, there you go. We hear you. How you doing? Oh, yeah, we hear you now. I'm doing good. Okay, All right. So welcome face, to the show. Bro, you? you don't have a camera? Yeah. No camera. <laughs> I don't That's even want to turn my camera it. on right now, but Whoa. I know it's probably better. It's probably better for the show. But um, I'm kind of <laughs> new to you guys. So, I mean, I've seen you guys actually on Facebook and here and there but um so okay. i'm gonna do a little bit of research more and find out like the background of you guys show and then i'll be able to perform better when i talk to you guys we're not asking for performance how <laughs> we, we do the performing you do you do the driving well we do the driving too but okay how long have you been driving uh since about uh 20 i think like 20 20 uh 2014 what yes i started you don't know in who LA. Get them off. well Get them off. well <laughs> wait let me, i i don't know i just like did it right. randomly right now and turned on facebook and okay i'm kidding you bro. i know so, i still don't i'm looking at i'm looking at this thing through Streamyard. okay but um i don't 
I, I'm not gonna say, but yeah, it's shit. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I I know I've heard about like Uber guy and this, but I don't oh, know actually oh. who I'm looking at right now. Yeah, we're the shit, bro. We're the we're the we're the game in town. The rest, I'm not sure. They're just copying. Well, you know, I don't want to insult anybody, but it's reality. So, um, but here's the deal. So, so ten years you've been. You're actually more veteran than me. I only st I started in 2015. Um, okay. So, are you on both platforms? Um, yeah, I actually started driving for um for Lyft at first back in like yeah. I actually think it was. Let me see. Uh, I think I actually think it was like in right before they opened at LAX. Okay. And um, I can't remember what year that was. So I started with Lyft, and then I started with Uber, and I was doing I was doing passenger pickups for a while. Yeah. And then I started doing Uber Eats. Oh, okay. I can't remember what I can't remember what year that was, but I started doing you. Uber Eats, and I noticed that Uber Eats was actually paying better than Uber regular rides back then. Yeah, when did you do it during the pandemic? No, it was before that. It was like this was back in like 20, 18, 19. 2015, 2016. Oh, no, no, no. There was no Uber Eats in 2016. It was Postmates and then Uber bought Postmates and then it became that. Um no, okay, it was right around that with... time, right around that yeah. time, 2016. If if you know what you're doing and delivery, bro, you'll drive a lot less miles. If the tips are good, you're cherry picker. You will make more money, more money per mile for sure. Yeah. Yeah, but what was funny back when I started doing Uber Eats? Yeah, is like they were offering promotions for Uber Eats. Yeah, and I wasn't getting any. Um, I I like I I didn't know that passengers would tip so all i thought all i was getting paid was like the promotions and then and then i stopped driving like for one year and i came back and i realized customers are tipping so i was like okay all this money i was getting was for it said it was promotions so if i'm start if i'm starting to get tips it should be more money so it it seemed like they swapped out the promotion money for the tip. Oh, could be. Yeah, you know, they, do, they do a lot of they do a lot of hocus pocus. So <laughs> yeah, it was kind of weird. Um, that's something right. that I so, have to look into. All right. Uh, well, be safe out there. Keep doing what you're doing. You know. Uh, uh, we yeah, but you know. one of my biggest deal right now is like um. I don't know all these, all these BS rides, all these BS fares, like low fares. That's not worth it. Needs to be off the platform. Okay. Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, whatever it is, they need to they need to get all that stuff off the platform because it's not worth it for the customers. It's not worth it for the businesses, for the restaurants. It's not worth it for the drivers. It's just a waste of time. So all those BS fares are just wasting people's time. Well, we just have a saying here, you know, you, since you're new, I'll re remind you. Hashtag decline garbage. Hashtag know your worth. You don't have to do them. You can always decline those. You know what I'm saying? So with that yeah. said, much love, bro. Be safe out there. But um, like keep people behind, behind you. Okay, I'm going to come back. On probably hopefully you guys can bring me back on in the future you know when i gather my thoughts more clearly and stuff and um all right i can be more productive maybe to help your show out no we're good all right thank you Have a good one, all right so let's move on we have will coming on will how you oh, doing my favorite boston driver right here. <laughs> hey. how's that how's tesla that black, black going okay black will stuff. i told you today not necessary but i appreciate it thank you no yeah no, thanks uh, no thank you i appreciate you so you know had to do what i had to do but uh, uh yeah black blacks blacks going well you know making money we're we're in we're actually we're in the slow season right now apparently so and i'm still making good money so if this is a slow season what's the busy season going to be like like well you'll find out you'll find out <laughs> soon soon enough i mean hopefully yeah. it can make my that investment back 
you know? Oh, you will. So, I have no doubt you will. None. Sooner or Zero. later. Now that I... I, I, I know, know it's going to come. It's just a matter of how long it's going to take. Hey, man, it's I, okay. Patience. Right here is not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, and that was crazy, the thing you were saying about the most dangerous jobs. I mean... It is. Holy crap. Like that... I didn't make it up, bro. <laughs> I know, but it's just crazy when you when you see that. It's just like, you know, it's just like... Well, Okay, when was it Austin. last month? Seven drivers in Chicago got shot. I, I, think, it was like Chicago. Yeah. I think Chicago is the worst for ride share. Yeah, that's and yeah. Then you think, when you see that, it's just like holy crap! Like this is no, it could happen a lot dangerous than than we than we probably realize. You know, you have a dash cam, right? Like, yeah, of course. I got Thank display God. ride. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, nobody should drive one mile without a dash cam. Yeah, you really need it. You really need it. Yeah, you, you really do. Um, yeah, it's just it's just scary to think about because you know you don't think about that unless something goes wrong. So uh, you see, but it. then you know you know you just check it out. You know you, you don't have to accept anybody in your car, bro. You know what I'm saying? If your gut if your gut tells you this is bad, tailpipes. Well, your car doesn't have tailpipes, so whatever it is, <laughs> batteries. <laughs> yeah, batteries. Yeah, you're out of there. Yeah, yeah it's no, just, I'm just, just uh, scary because you never really know who's getting in. In your car and i mean with black at least with black i feel a lot more comfortable yeah, yeah. taking the upper echelon tiers of well i mean you know but listen you know what did what did our parents tell us about getting into cars with strangers yes. yeah this is when, exactly right here bro yeah, yeah when, I, when I the first time i told my parents that i would be driving around strangers i they were like um so what are you doing for to like find this was like back in college when i started like what yeah. are you gonna do to be making some extra money. I was like, well, I'm going to be driving Uber and Lyft. They were like, no, you can't do that. That's like one of the worst things you could do for yourself. No, 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 no. <laughs> but you're in, look, you're in the top market. I'm telling yeah. you, you are in the best market in the country. Even when yeah. it's slow. I'm telling you, you do. And then you're driving upper classes, cashing in 10 trips is like 50 regular yeah, X trips. You can, so in like, like hey. 10 tri black trips, you can probably make like Depends on how much they're worth, but probably somewhere upwards of like two fifty, maybe two hundred. Depends there on how go. good, good, good the the trips are. Quality, yeah. quality over quantity, baby. Yeah, for anyone that wants to go black and you're a Lux driver, um, if you have the means to do it, you should totally do it because it's. Yeah. And good. check uh, Will's interview with me on Behind the Wheel. He told everybody how he did it in Boston. He wrapped his car black, and now he's an Uber black and Lyft black, yeah. raking it in. Yeah, but, man. you know, he did the right way. He researched. He did all his due diligence. It's on yeah. our channel. If you guys are interested, check it out. Yeah, and your city might not require commercial insurance like mine yep. did. So, yep. you know, check Agreed. it out on that, and, uh, yeah, be smart. But, yeah, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Anytime, yeah, bro. Appreciate Anytime. It. And, and uh, you know, be safe, okay? All right, man. I'll talk to you later. All right. Take care. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I, I would. I wouldn't mind getting a black Tesla Y, but unfortunately, we don't have a uh, black in our area, so that's uh, a downgrade. Yeah. The, the best. No. The best we have is Uber XL, and luckily, my pilot is an XL, so at least I could take advantage of that. But uh, unfortunately, yeah, we don't have anything yeah. beyond that. I agree. So, yeah, but you, 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 you know, we need to do like a coast to coast contest or something. I'm telling you right now, LA is so bad that you probably beat me. I'm not kidding. I don't, you so know what? We, we, we keep talking about it. We have to do one of those uh, battle I'm offs. ready, bro. I drive all the time. West Coast versus East Coast with Buffalo Let's versus go. LA. And, uh, Let's um, go. Well, we should, I'm, uh, do Look, like I'm, doing, I'm gonna do nothing about base fares. That's all I have. I cannot cherry pick. There's no cherries to pick. I'm just gonna drive. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> I'm, I'm, fuck, hell, I might beat you then. Um, even with the amount of people difference. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we should set oh, that oh, up. You'll beat, me. Some, you'll beat me. We'll do some, you'll beat me. yeah, let's do some contest. I, I'd be interested okay. to see. Look, we'll go out the same time. Okay. So we'll go out the same time of the day at the same time, 10 hours we drive, we'll come back home. We'll look at our numbers. There you go. Yep. Yeah. The only difference is we'll just have to do it by like, if I go out at 8 AM, you, you're not going out at 5 AM. You'd have to go well, out, I go at, out 8 at 8 AM as well. Time difference. Yeah. Yeah. But you yep. cannot do Excel. What? <laughs> the fuck? I don't drive Excel. What's wrong with Well, you? I have an Excel car, so I think that, that's... Uh, not my problem. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, that's like oranges to. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I, I got a better idea. I got a better idea. Let's put it up to chat. Chat has to decide. Can Chris do XL on the challenge between Sergio and Chris on no. Buffalo versus LA? What do you say? I say yes. Put yes do, in the chat. I do X, comfort, and uh, pool. Well, X shared. It has to be an even you know, game. Here, we don't have X shared, so. <laughs> Good. Better yet. <laughs> what? You're taking his side? Who's taking his side? Off the platform. <laughs> You're saying some uh, no, some no, no. Look at all these yeses. nose flying. Okay, no. I see is some no, yeses. no, 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 no. Boo, chat, boo. Uh, Come on, I thought we were all friends right. here. So, <laughs> okay, I, 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 no, exactly. Thank you, chat. Much love. <laughs> Look, bro, one Excel trip is worth like three extra. What are you talking about? Know, right? What the fuck, bro? Let's <laughs> go do one like airport trip, get like 80 bucks. I'm gonna do like 14 X's for like 80 bucks. I'm like, no. <laughs> this is fucking well, you right? know, I mean <laughs> if you want to go apples to apples, problem. but we're going oranges to apples. So <laughs> no, no is the answer. No, thank you, Chad. Much appreciated. Apple. So while we do All right. while, well, while we do, we go out at the same time, 10 hour shift, and we come back. That's it. <laughs> we multi-app right. we can do anything we want except we drive the same platforms we can i can do i can okay so you don't have doordash okay uber and lyft only let's do uber and lyft only. yeah uber and lyft only i don't do i don't do that food delivery crap no uber yeah. eats either no no uh, uh, that well. crap. <laughs> if you want to do uber eats then i'm doing xl right. okay so okay here's the competition <laughs> we do that x standard comfort on both right forget the shared i'm not going to do shared um we drive the same hours 10 hour shift i don't do uber eats doordash none of that shit two apps um what else that's it it's fair it's a fair game i don't know i yeah. like some of these comments that i'm seeing right now it's they're getting the nitty gritty they're saying uh chris has to pay more gas and then they're saying buffalo is a much smaller market in southern oh, cali shit I uh, take that into guys, account. Okay. Oh, yeah. and then, How many uh, of you are in LA here? You, you're go, uh, but you're going to have three times more rides. Um, I would have so given him a handicap if it was like four years ago. I would have run circles around them, so I would have given him a handicap, <laughs> like a hundred dollar head start for you or some shit. Now, <laughs> now every weekend I drive, I wait forty five minutes for a ping. What's wrong with you people? He's gonna kill me, bro. He's gonna like run lap. Probably, around. honestly, if you're waiting that long, yeah. I probably would kill you. Yeah, yeah. just just on bro, that. I'm telling you, bro, it's like deadly. It's like, I don't know. I'm like, okay, I did comfort trips. Uber is keep sending me comfort trips, like as if it's a big deal. <laughs> I did three in a row, and I just accepted before I dropped off the ping because I wanted to talk to the passenger. The guy I did the video with, Chris, five dollars and thirty six cents. Next passenger, five dollars and thirty six cents. <laughs> Next passenger, five dollars and thirty six cents. These are all P two, P three, fifteen minutes, Chris. Damn, what is that? <laughs> Comfort, fifteen minute P two, P three. I can do only Damn. four of those an hour. That's twenty bucks. <laughs> Gross before expenses. <laughs> LA is shit. Shit All right. Boy. Well, we got a couple. Uh, we got a couple more people. So right, uh, forgot about you. Let's, let's okay. do. Uh, don't forget hashtag SMTMC if you want to win twenty five dollars. We'll do the drawing in just a few minutes. Uh, but let's bring Keith on. Keith, how you doing? Hey, good evening, Chris and Sergio. First time on the oh, show. Are you Keith? Oh, there's a puppy there. Oh, this is little Pierre. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice. Puppy. Okay, my my light keeps falling off, Chris. You have a solution for this shit? Uh, tape. No, bro. It's got like a clip on. It's like Duck a clip tape. on pie, bro. Okay, Duck stay. Tape. Anyway, Duck Keith, tape. how are you, buddy? How are you, sir? Where are you from? How many trips? Who me? Uh, over five thousand. Good. How many years? Uh, about six. Good. Where are you from? Chicago. I'm a retired Chicago police officer. Oh, I much respect to the man right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he, he knows what's going people, on around that area. We have to the police bullshit. Without these guys, we're screwed. Anyway, you know, <laughs> the program. and the history of Uber, in my experience with it, in the beginning, it was free money. I was making a minimum of 600 for two days, and that was Friday, Saturday night. 
uh, I own an auto detailing business, so my car is immaculate, smells yeah. brand new. And that extra effort really brings in the tips. And I was bringing in money over a thousand for two days. Yeah. Uh, after 2020, we all know about what happened to the cities. Chicago's lost about 25% of its restaurants. And so the demand is way down. You'll never see surge yeah. prices in Chicago, even with the bad weather. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. So what's ended up happening. I'm like you, Sergio. I'm averaging maybe $21 an hour with my tips. Yeah, so I'm forced to not drive. But what I do do, instead of like driving Uber on Friday nights, I do enjoy Texas Hold'em poker. And so <laughs> there's a casino out in Elgin, Illinois, that holds a okay. really high poker tournament. So I'm, <laughs> it's about an hour away from my house. So what I do is I hey, take out there. You're retired. You can do whatever the heck you want. Trust, mm. trust me i know that very well but no i ended up after retiring i ended up getting pretty busy i became a real estate broker and i've got the auto detail business and i was using uber to network with young couples in the city there you go and i'd ask oh are you from ukrainian village yeah well, we rent here or do you rent here or do you own and while we're renting we're looking to buy oh yeah. who's your real estate agent well we don't have one well by the end of the car ride i'm working on getting to become their agent that's I over. love it that's i over. love it what yeah. what ends up happening now there are times where i'll say okay i'm not doing anything i'll go out to the burbs and the burbs it's great for tipping but the income isn't there i don't know how anybody that was doing uber full-time in the old days yeah. can do it full-time today i i don't see no. it i don't know what you can mm -hmm. pay for your upkeep on your car the fuel no, no. i don't know what happened I mean, look, all I know, we're a right share channel. I'm not supposed to say any of this stuff, right? But right. at the moment, look, there are some cities that are working, okay? I'm telling you, Boston is okay. Chicago is still not too bad. But there are some states and cities for, I know what the reason is. It's not politically correct, but I don't care. You know, Florida, huge immigration illegal account problem, okay? Texas, huge immigration um, and illegal fake account problem. And these companies are not doing shit. All the people who take these $3 trips are, you know, these poor migrants who are just on somebody else's account and accepting garbage all day long, right? And the companies don't care because they're getting the trash delivered. So I'm going like, okay. But some, some places like Pockets are strong still, but definitely not LA. <laughs> I've been doing it eight years, bro. I've never seen it this bad. So I'm like, okay. So now it becomes a side hustle like you. You go play some poker. You go do some networking. You know, you have... You know, I mean, that's what it is at the moment, and hopefully it'll change. We'll see. What amazes me is they're still getting drivers driving uh, midway. Yes. I'm like, you know, you know, uh, it's logic, and I, I, you know, and I watch yeah. you guys. And There's I'm like, no oh, logic, bro. <laughs> when it comes to, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, I, and I, you know, but and anyway. yeah, I would do airport rides because yeah. anybody that's coming into that car. They've already been TSA pre-checked. Exactly. Know, they get out of that plane. They've already got to go through to check if they got a firearm. Yeah. But I went in the city. I We've got a prosecutor in Cook County that doesn't do her job. And what's ended up happening is that these kids are arming up. It's kind of like the old Soviet Union, the, the United States back in the 50s and 60s, sure. who can build the most nukes. Uh, they just had a kid that was released an electronic monitoring for a murder case. Oh my God. Yeah, it gets better, Serge. They, oh end, up, God. they end up doing a search warrant on this guy's house and they find four firearms, you're including rifles, nine millimeters. And what it is, this kid is worried about the retaliation murder that's coming his way. Yeah, because, protecting himself. Yeah. Yeah, because the, the gangbangers on the other team, they're saying, hey, wait. The government's not going to protect us. We got to take things in our own mind. And that's what's yeah. going on here. It's, yeah. it's unfortunate uh, because the government here, local government here, actually, it's creating this problem. It's not law enforcement. Yeah. But these I mean, kids. You know, we hear it all the time in the news, bro. Like a lot. I mean, I think Chicago and Baltimore, too, maybe the two worst cities for yeah. uh, ride chair drivers. The prosecutors, the one in Baltimore. I think she's going to be in a lot of legal trouble if she's not already there. 
Uh, here in Illinois, this prosecutor we got in Cook County, I don't know if I'm allowed to say her name, and if I can, I'll say Kim Fox. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not not All right, shame on me. But yeah. what's ended up happening, it, it's gotten to the point now with Chicago. I mean, if you want to take a look at some like really good uh, media sites, what's going on with crime in Chicago, it's the CWB Chicago site on Twitter. Those guys are unbelievable. Those guys, with, with, with the local papers here, like Chicago Tribune, Chicago Sun-Times, you won't see anything about crime. You yeah. have to search out websites to yeah. find what's going on in Chicago. So yeah. you people that aren't from the city that come in and still visit Chicago, and they don't realize downtown is like a combat zone. You're nuts if you go down there. Wow. And we're we're going to probably losing our theater uh, area down there. And I remember back in the 70s, I'd gone to college, I'd majored in law enforcement. Yeah. Back in the 70s, we didn't know if Chicago was going to become another Detroit. So I thought twice about taking Chicago's exam. Yeah. Well, I took Chicago's exam, I retired back in 2012. But by 2012, Chicago was a world class city. Yeah. We had coming in from the Mideast, coming here for shopping on Mich and, uh, the Magnificent Mile, Michigan Avenue. Yeah. yeah. Magnificent Mile is now 30% vacancy now. If wow. we look at the apartment stores, the Mag Mile will cease to exist. And for the Chicago taxpayers, the Mag Mile produced the most taxes in any area of the city. Yeah. So once that's gone, if you're a homeowner, your real estate taxes are going through the roof. They're going through the roof now. Yeah. No, I mean, you know what it is? It's like all, a lot of cities obviously are, you know, deteriorating into some war zones. You know, it's like it's crazy what's happening like San Francisco, Chicago, <clears throat> Baltimore, some, you know, St. Louis. But my problem is none of that. It's like, to me, I'm a ride shares advocate, right? The job is really so dangerous now that is it worth like 22 bucks before expenses i mean think you know i i'm not supposed to say this as a right share channel but i'm going like i did a video this weekend it's called reality check everybody has to have a reality check in their own cities in their own situation is it worth it i mean is it i was so, but then may, when i was averaging 35 i wanted to make more than 35 an hour yeah not one it's kind of like hey uh Dara, are you trying to insult my intelligence? But they are. <laughs> that was the reason being is that the right shirt drivers, we've got a couple of organizations here in the Chicago area. Yeah. I think Drivers Guild, uh, they're trying to organize, but the other drivers will take the rights. If you're, yep. if you're right, the other ones will come on in there and they will take over the rights and it won't impact any, it won't make any impact at all. So yeah. until I, I think in the long term, I think the politicians are going to have to get involved. They're going to have to regulate it. And I'm not happy with that. I got into I'm it. Not either. I'm not either. I'm not a huge fan of the government. But at some point, I mean, you know, <laughs> sanity has to come in. I can't do three dollar trips, bro. I can't put a human being in my car for three dollars. It's just going to work. That's uh, a four dollar trip. So they want me to yeah. travel 15 so, minutes for, for, for a two minute trip. And I'm like, are you out of your mind? Yeah, uh, there's an alderman here in Chicago uh, that he and I had a conflict because he was pro-regulation and I was anti-pro-regulation. Re and uh, I write and I have published in the uh, local, what they call the patch newspaper, internet paper. Uh, he wasn't fond of that, but he is a proponent of regulating. And at this point with Uber, since they're so miserable through their drivers, bring on regulation. Yeah, I agree. Well, anyway, you be safe out there, sir. Um, much appreciated. Thank you for the support. See you again. And take care of yourself. Be safe out there. I know you are. You take care of yourself, I'm sure. But, yep. you know, still, you know, well, be on the lookout. Hey, you want to talk about protecting myself? My acceptance rate's like 40%. Like, uh, that's pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> used to be a percent Believe me, if you got a name like Don Terrios with his gun... <laughs> You're not, yeah, the Mr. <laughs> Double. Uh, you. And I wish I would have screenshot that because I would have sent that to, to the alderman. And oh, email it to me. Email it to me. I'll, I'll send it to you. E email me, Sergio, at the right chair guy .com. Sergio at the uh, right chair guy. Yeah.
Okay. Oh, I I'll, I'll, you, I'll send you I'll send you like a few good ones. I got one today after the oh, right before the show, Chris. I got my second F U C K. Okay, so oh, nice. at the yeah. right here, guy uh, all one word, yeah, all one word yep. dot com. And I'll be happy to send I, you some select good ones. Get up to the alderman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Michael Rodriguez? Is that no. is that your alderman? No, this this one is uh Brendan Riley. Okay, and so Michael Rodriguez and Lisa Simmons are working on this ordinance. So contact them if you're supporting some sort of legislation. We had them on the show. Okay. Uh, Michael Rodriguez is an alderman from the 5th Ward. And Lo Laurie Simmons is the head of... Uh, um, she's up in the north side of the city. I know that. I'm yeah, so she's like one of... It's not a union, but it's like one of these associations, Okay. Yeah, the and owner have a they have a bill coming up which you will like and just go. You don't have to, you know, just make up your own mind. But there is some stuff coming in Chicago, so very good. All right, guys, yeah. I'll let you go. Great talking right. to you. Thanks. Thank you so much. All right, sorry for All everybody right. else who was lined up. We're gonna finish. <laughs> give him the money. Let's give him the money. Hold on, we got uh off topic. Can we look at how Lyft want won't or female drivers to opt out of women pick up women crap after March? I opted out as my experience is drunk women are more volatile, worse to drive. Oh, so they won't allow you to opt out? Oof. What? Uh, that I didn't hear. Oh, I mean, I'm not a woman, so. Here. Oh, sorry, sorry. Obviously, you're female, Steph. Uh, oh, they will not let you opt out? What kind of bullshit is that? Oh, email yeah, me, Sergio at the right way, guy com. Thank you. Sergio, yeah, we're, we're not we're, we're not women, so we wouldn't see something like that. So I'm not aware. Uh, but yeah, if you just know, but email us. This is a driver issue. Why wouldn't you be able to opt out if you know, maybe you don't? I don't know. I, I think that's stupid. Yeah, I mean, you can you opt out anything else. else. Okay. So, oh, look, Ricky, Ricky, life says I can in North Carolina. So email me. Tell me what city you're in. Tell me your story, and then we'll see what we can do. Yep. All right. Let's give away some money. Sergio's money. Hold on a second. Set this up. While you're setting it up, so when are we doing this contest? After the snow melts in Buffalo? Uh, we can do it. Um, when I, let's let's pick a time and we can figure out when. I mean, well, we can do it. I mean, I don't want you to, you know, slip and slide in and snow. Well, I, want right, to, I, want to, I want to give you a this chance. Weekend won't, this <laughs> weekend won't work because there's, a, there's actually a storm that's supposed to come through. I don't know... <laughs> how bad it's supposed to be yet but uh i'll go with your schedule you know, if, it's, if it's lake effect but um you know we're kind of getting on the other end of the shitty weather so we should be able to be um figuring that out probably pretty soon so maybe maybe next weekend we could do that on whenever you, whenever you want buddy yeah we'll, we'll I'm, figure I'm it out always open for uh, a good uh, car contest i i'm i'm ben, i'm telling you you beat me it's so freaking deadly out here. So fuck. <laughs> I can't cherry pick when there are no cherries, people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's see who's the winner. The Button Lady Texas. Congratulations. Button Lady, Texas. The Man, we got hey. Button Lady Texas. Okay. Email Sergio at the right chair guy .com. No email within 24 hours of this minute. No money. Button Lady. Wait for a Bills game. Oh, hell no. I don't drive. I don't drive near the stadium. Never will again. I did it one time just to see what it was like. Uh, nope, never again. <laughs> and uh, what? No, you know this is this is the great thing about Buffalo because you you have the stadium in Southtown, so it's an Orchard Park, and you know the east of the city and north, oh, you're, you're getting yeah. all the drivers that are going to the stadium. So like east and north towns have nothing. So it's like okay, you can try, drive up there. You're getting a bunch of surge. You're usually getting a bunch of rides. And then it kind of like flip flops. It like goes in these waves and ebbs because all the people that are going from the stadium are going up to the north town. So all the drivers are going up there, and then that's when the south town drivers are needed. So like you you can, you can go against the green, and that way you actually make a lot of money uh, compared to because that's where the surge pops up. They they kind of like bubble up and go away in that. So um, I don't know how it's going to be in necessarily your cities, but. Uh, that's one of the nice nice perks about where Buffalo Stadium is compared to I the agree. city. So I agree. Um, stadium, nice you know, if you can stay away, stay away. Um, oh, so okay. Thank you so much for being here. We gave the money away. 
Okay, I'm going to put a link now. You guys can go click on it after you sign off. I'm going to put a link. This is the documentary I was in. It's so timely. It's about misclassification, all sides of the story. It's a very balanced story. Please, now you can copy and paste it in your browser and watch it. It's on YouTube. Um, you guys will like it. It's very well done. And what else? Oh, um, I said it at the start. I'm saying it again. Just please go to the um, www.rightshareguy.com, therightshareguy.com. I am writing articles on our blog again. As I was before, before I became a YouTube jockey, <laughs> I love writing. You guys will learn a lot. Um, you know, sign up to the free newsletter. That's it. There you go. <laughs> All right. With that being said, hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Go out there, make some good money. We'll see you guys be next safe. week. Be safe, be smart, be and uh, enjoy.